Manitoba provincial politics are heating up with the election looming October 3rd. We asked all of the party leaders to come on and speak about their priorities for Indigenous peoples. Here is Liberal leader Dougald Lamont who met with me earlier this week. Thanks for joining us Dougald. What is the Liberal Party's priority for Indigenous people? Uh, look, when you look at provincial systems in Canada, they're the ones where uh, Indigenous people face the most discrimination. It's one of the reasons why I am a provincial politician, because I, that's where I think all the changes need to be made. So we released our platform. It, 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 the entire thing is written through the lens of reconciliation, but we have some very specific um, areas where we're aiming towards uh, addressing issues on justice, um, addressing issues with uh, CFS, returning $338 million that was taken from children in care, uh, and making sure that as we move forward, we, we're working in partnership. So we would set up a, a secretariat, it's a terrible word, but basically a full-time roundtable with Indigenous folks uh, and, and leadership so that we're consulting in partnership on an ongoing basis as we move forward and change laws, regulations, and do things like in to implement UNDRIP and make sure that uh, we're actually actively changing the things that need to change in provincial systems so that Indigenous people in Manitoba are recognized as full Manitobans. One of the most pressing issues is the search of the landfill. What's your position on that? So we, um, we were the first party. Uh, like before it even became uh, a sort of a more of a public issue, I wrote a letter to uh, Grand Chief Kathy Merrick to let her and AMC know that we supported the search. Um, to me, when I saw the folks who were supporting it, these are very serious people uh, like Grand Chief Merrick, and, and other Indigenous leaders. This is a, a simple issue of justice. Uh, we've committed to paying for at least half, starting with paying half of the, of the and it, if we had to pay more, we would pay more. Um, I believe we're the only party to make a fish, an official um, funding commitment, but this should never have been a political issue at all. This is just something that should have been part of a police budget. We don't have a referendum like this on whether people have a, a murder investigation happen or not. Um, so it, it's, this has been a truly terrible, it's one of the worst things I've ever seen, quite honestly, in, in politics, that this is being used as a wedge issue in an election year uh, to make people pick and choose uh, when really we should be standing on the side of victims of crime. What would the first thing be that you would do if you were elected? <sighs> well, I would probably sleep in if I possibly could, but that won't be allowed. Um, Look, there's an enormous number of things we need to, we want to change, and um, but I think that's that's the important thing for us. We have to have a new budget. Uh, unfortunately, the other two parties have, are sticking with a budget that has tons of tax cuts and not enough spending on the things we actually need. So we'd like to see a new budget come in to make sure we're doing things in investing, really in shoring up all the things that have been broken uh, and, and have been broken for so long, whether it's uh, stuff that went wrong in the pandemic or, or systemic issues. Um, we want to make sure that, uh, for example, if the, the money is returned to children who were in care, there were thousands of children, First Nations children in Manitoba, who were taken from their families and their communities, and then the Manitoba government took their special children's allowances, and they did it from 2006 to 2019. They took $340 million and they kept it. And it, it's absolutely outrageous that this happened, and uh, we've, we're the only party that's committed uh, formally to returning it and making sure that that happens. That needs to be one of the top things we do because we're talking about youth and we're talking about young people. As a matter of reconciliation, you know, half the people on the streets of Winnipeg who are homeless were in CFS. Um, the, the associations, the things that have happened that have gone wrong with CFS are a, a national shame. And that's one of the reasons why making sure we're looking after kids and investing in, in people's futures, in the, in the future of Indigenous young people in Manitoba is, is a top priority. All right. Well, thanks for sitting down with us today. Thank you. Really appreciate it.